Congratulations on the purchase of your Forte 9 Plus and welcome to the MDC family. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up from start to finish. When you unhitch your trailer, be sure to do it in the correct process. Find a good spot where it's fairly level so the caravan is as close to level as possible. If you need to raise the left or the right, use some step ramps to get that level correct before you unhitch. Make sure you chock the wheels so your van can't go anywhere and apply the handbrake. The next step is to drop the jockey wheel down, get it down touching the ground, then you can disconnect your DA35 hitch. Press the button in, release it from the pin, then you can start winding it up. Then remove the electricals, and the last thing you do is remove the chains, because if the caravan moves, you want the chains to stop it from going too far. Once that's done, everything's in place, it's chocked. Use the jockey wheel to adjust the front to back level and get that correct. Now we can move on to the stabilizer legs and put them down. Stabilizers are easy to put down. Grab the blue handle, take the weight off the leg and pull the handle out and drop the stabilizer leg down. Give it a knock into place, then grab your speed brace, connect it, and wind it down firmly. Now you can adjust the level of the caravan slightly with these, but remember that the bevel gears in these are only small and they're cast, so they're not super strong and they're not designed to lift the full weight of the caravan. That's where your step ramps come in handy for leveling left to right if the ground is really uneven. Now we can set up the awning. First of all, we need to unzip it from its cover. There are three straps that retain the awning underneath this cover. They've got a quick release clip on them. So we can basically unclip these three and we can extend the awning out. Starting at this end, push the arms out and that'll allow us to get the forward arm out from behind them. Now that's out, we need to put the retaining strap across the front of the van. The strap is adjustable along the length of it and it has a little spring clip on it, which is connected to the eyelet here on this side of the van. So we pull it across, clip it on, and that holds this end of the awning out. Now we need to do similar at the back of the van. If you just wanna set the awning up for a bit of shade as a day awning, you can bring it around and clip it on. But if you're going to set it up and you want to make sure that you're covered if it rains, this infill piece fits into the sail track above the door. The zipper end goes up this end and you simply slide this into the sail track. So when you bring the awning around, you can zip it together and this flap sits over the zipper to offer resistance to the rain so it doesn't drip down across your back door. On this end of the awning, there's a D-ring, which connects to a little hook up here. So pull the awning around, connect the D-ring. Now, if we wish, we can zip the infill panel across the back and our freestanding awning is up ready to use. Pulling out the step is super easy. Simply grab it at the bottom, lift and pull out, and it will extend. Now, the door, Simple as easy as, there's two motions in the door. Before you lock it, you always turn it that way, away from the door. That'll allow you to lock it either inside or outside as it brings out the safety bolts top and bottom. When you open it, there's two ways to secure it. There's a hook here, which will keep the door at 90 degrees, or this chrome ring here will swing around and hook on to there and keep the door back out of the way. Now, if you want to use the screen door, 
Just above the main handle and below the locking mechanism is a little black lever. You lift it and that will separate the screen door from the main door. There you go, and you can lock that again by turning the handle the opposite direction and you lock, can lock it with a key from the outside or turning the chrome handle inside to lock it and you can enjoy the breeze. When setting up the awning, it is a freestanding awning and will work well. But if you're gonna get a bit of rough weather and wind or you want to set up the annex, you need to put down the legs which are tucked up under each awning arm. Release the Velcro, bring the leg down and the leg extensions are a twist. To twist it, extend and twist it back and that'll lock it in place. Above each one, there is a nylon loop to attach a guide rope. To run the guide ropes down, peg it down all round and it'll be a lot stronger. Opening the roof is easy, but the first thing you must do is release the over center latches on both sides, one here and one on the other side. After that, it's simply jump in, grab the handle on the roof and push the roof up. The gas struts will assist you in doing it and hold it up. And the gas strut on this side will lock into position. When you're pulling the roof down, it's important to release the small lock on the gas strut on this side. It's marked here with a dot. And when you pull the roof down, you push against the dot and that will line up the locking mechanism that allows the gas strut to compress. So it's important to do that when you're pulling the roof down. There you have it, folks. That's how you set up the Forte 9 Plus. Be sure to watch the other videos on our YouTube channel and get across to the website and download yourself a copy of the owner manual.